and I'm having a conversation with my friend Terry Cox. She's an author, a scholar, communications expert, and something just jumped out of our conversation that within the first five minutes, and you said, don't just think outside the box, live outside the box. Because when you live outside the box, you have no competition. And your life has been characterized, and your work has been characterized by living outside the box. Explain that to me. Well, first of all, I didn't know it. I just lived it. And it took a while before, and, and others had to provide that kind of feedback to me, and I said, yeah, you're right. First of all, it's very important in whatever you're doing to think both strategically and tactically. And when you think strategically, a big part of that, if you really want to take your success to the next level, is to think outside the box and look for opportunities that not everyone else is doing. It really helps to kind of get out of your own thoughts, get out of self-defeating thinking, do things that are different than what you usually do, kind of create new neural pathways. Absolutely. Get out of your, get out of your comfort zone. That was my next thing, because we had to talk <laughs> about comfort zone. You had said comfort zones are an illusion. They are, but we need them for a while. And we need them for a while. Mm -hmm. But comfort zones are things that keep us stuck. Right. How does a person get out of a comfort zone? Because I'm known for saying that everything that you want is outside your comfort zone. And I also remember you when you yourself were going were evolving and for a little while you were stuck and we talked about that. Yes. And how you were working towards yes. getting out yes. outside of that, that position. Yeah. Because it was uncomfortable. Well first of all the first thing is if you have to be uncomfortable being in your comfort zone. What I mean and it seems like a paradox, but what I mean is is that it can't if it's no longer satisfying and you're saying this I'm just doing this. I mean but it's not taking me where I want to go. Hmm. I have more ambition. I have more goals. I have more dreams. I want my life to mean more, to do more, to succeed more. The only way you can do that is to get outside of that. Mm -hmm. And it's uncomfortable for a while. Yeah. I know. I've been there. So um, I, you know, I, I lived outside the box, and I, was, I had a self-designed life, and I'm still working on that. I mean, we're all works in progress, and that's part of the beauty of all of this. Is I don't see you slowing down at all. <laughs> As a matter no, of fact, anything, I'm gonna fall off. I, I was going to say, you know, your energy and your vision has grown so much over the years. When everybody I know is kind of winding down and coming in Bye for a bit. landing, <laughs> you are still rocking and rolling, literally, and. You have such a bright future teaching others and inspiring others. It's interesting, the recipe for success. There's a lot of people in my audience that are interested in moving ahead in their life, whether it be finances, education, physical fitness, relationships, and so forth. How does a person make the first step out of their comfort zone? First step, first of all, is when I say give yourself some quiet time and space to visualize your dreams and to think about what you, some of the things, some of the goals you really want. Don't limit yourself. Be creative. Focus on your individuality and what really turns you on and gives you joy. And then think about if you had no limits, no restrictions, no self-imposed limitations in your head. What would that ideal life look like? Okay. And begin, and when you think about these things, jot them down. Start taking notes. And, and just let your brain, let your intent... Have a journal of some type. Absolutely. Have, and have it, it comes from the heart and from your, it's really a spiritual path and your intuitive wisdom that's already knows you better than you think you know yourself. Uh, listen to it. And let it guide you. And as it does, you'll begin to m manifest a clearer picture of what's next. Okay. And then, once you have some idea of what might be next on your path and what you'd like to be next on your path, we 
have this wonderful tool called the internet. And so many experts in so many areas like... People don't come up with an overall strategy for success, for their life, for their goals, for education, for weight loss, for fitness, for relationships. <clears throat> if you're just focused on tactics, you can just spin your wheels for right, years. Right, right. And that's what we do. We're, we're focused on tactics every day. Whether it's, you know, getting something done, paying your bills on time, returning a phone call, f following up on an email, whatever it is at work or whatever, work or play or personal relationships or dealing with our kids and dealing with our families, that's tactical. And you have to do some of those things. They're really required. But when you're thinking strategically, and when I say outside of the box, but you really are thinking big picture and more long term, you really, when you have that vision and it's clear, then some of the steps along the way also become more clear. But you don't just focus on the tactics. You, you get lost in the tactics. You really have to keep focusing on that overall goal, that overall big picture. So play as a team, think as an individual. Correct. Having a conversation with Terry Peacocks. Thank you, Terry.